on my foot. Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Claire and this is The Veg Plot Thickens. Not a lot of veg in it at the moment, but that is the name of the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be building what's in this box, which is nothing overly special. It is just a bench and I'm going to put it here. I felt like having somewhere that I can come out of the polytunnel and have a sit. I'm imagining it now, sitting here, perusing what's going on in the garden. I'm going to get the box open, going to see what it's like and hopefully it'll be a nice little addition with some nice flowers growing in it over summer. It probably says do not cut with a knife but I can't see that so off we go. That's not bad that isn't it? So that's the bench bit. That bit's easy to construct. It can go there. Oh these are ready put together. Oh that looks pretty straightforward then with a bit of look. It's time to read the instructions with a confused look on my face. A B C D E I don't need, he says no tools required. Oh, it's got an Allen key. Oh dear, dear, dear. Not liking the sound of that. Right, pretty straightforward. Gonna do that thing where I speed it up now and you'll never know that it took me 10 hours because I did it wrong and I edit that bit out and cut it all together. first one built. Obviously it's open bottomed, I'll be putting the pot inside it and now we'll build the second. Job done. Putting them up here. Somewhere. I'll have to go and get a spirit level at some point. This is going to be brilliant for me. Oh, I'm delighted. I'm sure it's not the best thing to be leaning back on barbed wire fence, but you know, I can cope with that. Because I'm an absolute sucker for punishment, I've now been to fetch one of the arches that I bought ages ago when I bought the little shed that's on the garden as well. I'm going to try and put one of these together just because I don't actually know, I can't remember the dimensions, so I don't know how wide they are, I don't know whether it's going to fit this way over the central path or whether it's only wide enough to fit between the beds. So I'd like to get one together, I'm probably going to stain them afterwards, I'm not sure yet, but just to see the sizes of it. If I can do it on my own, of course, that is. I can't lie, I'm looking at all of these pieces and I'm thinking it could be a bit too technical for me. I've already cut myself because there's more staples in it than I don't know what, which is very annoying. There's a bag of bits here. I have got the screwdriver behind me. Right. Oh lordy, I've sent for reinforcements. When it says pilot drilling holes, I'm a bit worried about doing them in the wrong place. And the instructions do clearly state that it's at least a two-man job. At least. Look, my saviour is here. Sir Duncan of the Shorts. That one's for you, Ali. You're so thrilled, aren't you? So thrilled.
we're both bleeding on the job because there's all staples left in the wood that we keep catching ourselves on. Gotta do that again. All we need to do now is put the roof rafters on. The first ones are 150 mils from the end, so matching there. The highest ones to the top are 90 mil, and then we'll have to work out spacing in between. These are 57 centimeters between the back edges here. The width of the archway is 40 centimeters, which means there's a 17 centimeters overhang, so they need to be eight and a half centimeters each side overhanging. I'm going to mark the back of all of these as eight and a half centimetres. Now it's the moment of seeing how we're going to fit it on the bed. I have got it, I think. To me, to you. I'm just digging some holes now so that we can put the legs of the frame sunk into the ground a little bit to help with stability. Duncan is also going to screw the base of the archway to the raised beds as well. Just going to leverage it back to the bed. Two screws in each leg. Success! That's the first archway installed. We've got another one of these to do. Really, really happy with it. They're not particularly very wide, are they? So they're probably not big enough for a lot of the things that we want to grow, but I'll find something to put over them. I'm just rummaging now in the shed for the next structure to be built, and that is a sweet pea frame. And what I was thinking of is spinning round. This is some old trellis that was on top of a fence that we had before we had our extension built and I think if I cut it down to about five foot tape measure then it would make a good background for the sweet peas. I might put a row of string between them to narrow the gaps a little bit, put some posts on to fix it to the back of the bed. I think that'll work. These are pieces of wood for another project, but I'm going to steal two to cut them down to make the posts for the sweet pea frame. Carrying enough. So this is my plan for it. It's going to sit here and I'm going to have obviously a post each side of it to support it. Looks a bit strange sticking up there on its own, but there will be a brassica cage behind it eventually, so it won't look quite so out of place. Well, it won't look out of place with things growing on it, will it? See, we've been using it as a seat for months, so now it's coming in useful. I've got it. That went loads then. Perfect. Perfect. Can we have it noted? He's not using a telehandler to do this job. So there we have it. Simple sweet pea frame made from scrap lying around in the farm. 
think it looks great. Can't wait to see the sweet peas growing up it this year. Thanks, Duncan. The last structure that I'm going to make, I'm going to put in this bed here, is I'm going to make a wigwam for peas. And I have two of these wigwam grips. The canes that I've bought are eight foot long. So I'm hoping that I can push them into the ground. Otherwise, that's going to cause me a little bit of a problem. But I knew that I needed it to be a fairly tall wigwam because obviously the beans are quite tall. What I am going to do is I'm just going to tie them at the top for a little bit of extra security. just in case this rubber thing comes undone when it's got stuff growing on it. For this one, I've already put the canes into the structure and I'm going to try and put them in the ground this way and see if that's easier than reaching. A piece of jute string to use to try and tie all the tops together. I'm not sure why I'm doing this so high up that I can't reach it. I do intend to string these bean wigwams when it's time to plant out, but as it's not yet, I'm just gonna leave them for now, just to let the structures sort of settle in my mind and be sure that the plan that I have for where I'm planting things is going to be what I want to do moving forwards. Hopefully the video has inspired you to build some structures on your own plots and some different ways of doing so. I'll catch you in the next video. Look after yourselves. Bye!